Deputy Majority Leader Fenyo Marking has ever justified the taxes introduced by government in the 2021 budget, arguing that in spite of the world economic contraction due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the MPP government did not record negative growth. He says rather than being condemned for the move, government must be commended for prudently managing the economy. Mr. Speaker, we grew 2017 by 8.1%. 6.3% in 2018, 65 in 2019, Mr. Speaker, and COVID came, 0.9. But in the NDC era, it is important we compare so that your mischief doesn't get into the minds of Ghanaians. You are supposed to be in opposition, providing alternative. So my duty today now is to tell Ghanaians that even when there was no pandemic and you had all the space this is what you did i'm going to tell you what you did 2014 growth and uh, his excellency john dramani mahama 2.9 percent 2015 2.2 percent 2016 3.4 percent and you are telling Ghanaians you are better that if today we are not in government you will talk over it will be a worse situation mr speaker you cannot manage the economy you didn't have COVID. Look at your growth rate. Look at your growth rate. And because of the liberty of opposition, you are creating the impression that you can do better. You cannot. You cannot, I dare you. You cannot, Mr. Speaker. Honorable leader, can you let your if voice anybody, If anybody, Mr. Speaker, is wrongly blaming the government for our economic woes, Mr. Speaker, the person must, must pay attention to our records for the past four years. Mr. Marking says the taxes will be reinvested into the economy through the creation of jobs for the youth, adding that the sanitation and pollution levy will create a lot of opportunities for the private sector. Mr. Speaker, if you look at our performance so far, COVID. 19 health levy. Mr. Speaker, members of parliament have taken their passing. Other well placed people in this country have taken their passing. Ghanaians must get their passing. We need to finance it. And, Mr. Speaker, today we are being told that the levy that is being imposed as captured at paragraph 254. Mr. Speaker, it's not necessary. Can the NDC be loud in telling Ghanaians that we don't need to purchase vaccines for them? Tell them, because the purpose of this is to enable, Mr. Speaker, us get vaccines for them. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to disposing medical waste after this vaccination, Mr. Speaker, all of this costs money. And the NDC cannot tell me that we do not need this. NDC cannot say so. Mr. Speaker, government is proposing the introduction of this levy, which is one percentage point increase in national health insurance levy and one percentage point increase in the VAT flat rate. Mr. Speaker, this will provide the requisite resources for the following, for emphasis and pay attention, procurement, distribution, and administration of vaccines, establishment of 14 medical waste treatment facilities across the country for safe disposal of medical waste in collaboration with private sector. So it means that jobs will be created. Mr. Speaker, fumigation and inspection of public places, jobs will be created, opportunities for the private sector, recruitment of more healthcare professionals in addition to the 100,000 recruited in the first term of Mr. President.